Hello everyone, Sam Fam here, and today we're gonna to talk about defense. Whoa, that's actually Look at him punish that, right that is a sweet, sweet, sweet dunk. And that is the only offensive clip I'm showing today in this video. So the rest of the way is just defensive clips and defensive settings and how to use them. So if you're not about the defensive life, I suggest you can go check out my pick and roll videos. But if you're okay with defense, here we go. So let's talk about the settings first and I'll show you guys the clips. So, like I said earlier, this video is going to be all about defensive settings, matchup, and game planning. So, I'm going to focus on those aspects and how these settings affect the way you can play defense and how to improve your team. So, the individual stuff like on-ball D, help side D, I'll talk about that in the next video. But today, mostly just settings, matchup, and game planning. So, first of all, you need good defenders on your roster. So, here I got Wesley Matthews and Batum. So, those are some good lockdown perimeter defenders. So, that will help me a lot. Because that gives me more leeway and wiggle room with my settings. So Jamal Crawford, bad defender. I got to hide him. So I put him on the other team's worst guy. So that's usually the way you want to match up. Hide your worst defender. Point of emphasis, these are offense. I won't worry about those. But my defensive focus and aggressiveness, I usually go to limited perimeter shots and go aggressive defense. So that's just for me to take away all of computer's freeze. So that means when I defend myself, I get to deal with the interior. I run the system so that computer takes care of the outside and I deal with the inside. I mean, you can run it the other way around, but it's just that I'm a better interior defender, so I try to do it this way. Now we're playing the Sacramento Kings today, so I'm gonna match up, I'm gonna game plan. So because they're the Kings, I'm gonna try to bait Darren Collison and Rudy Gay in the mid-range shots. And I'm gonna try to take away Nick Stascoskis Three pointer, so bait tight, and I try to force everyone to the baseline. Anyone on the team, on the opposite, on the, the computer's team that has a chance of driving, I make them go baseline. Now, is that the best thing for everyone? Probably not, but I want to do that because then there's consistency. So I know if they're driving, computer on my team is going to force their guy to the baseline. So I'm going to help on that side. Because remember, I know the outside is going to be shut down with the physical defense and the limiting perimeter. So for the inside, I know they're sending them certain ways so I can play the defense that way. Now, Rudy Gay, I'm trying to play moderate to begin with because I want to bait him in the Jays because Rudy Gay in real life takes bad shots. So I'm hoping he will take a whole bunch of bad mid-range shots. And in terms of the computer's big man, I usually tell my guys to play them tight. Like someone like Demarcus Cousins, I would try to play at least tight and deny or something. This is because, not because I want, I'm want. i afraid of his jumpers. I don't want him to get offensive rebounds. If I don't play tight on DeMarcus or like the other team center, you will see that computer will might even sack off them while they're in the paint. That's why they get so many offensive boards because I can't turn it to tight. So that's my game plan today. Make them take mid-range shots, take away the offensive rebound. So that's how I have set up. All right, very first possession of the game. So this is one you look want to look for. This is like the test of seeing if your game planning and your settings are correct. So remember, I want him to take mid-range shots and no driving. So this is what I want. I guess this is part of it because Demarcus gets an isolation post up. But I game plan for that. Like I want mid-range shots and no driving. So it ended up being that I'm okay with it. So here's Rudy Gay with the ball, trying to bait him into a mid-ranger, playing good D here. Everybody's a chain, but then the chain got broken because Batum sacked off. So now I realize that this is probably a bad idea, the whole moderate on Rudy Gay thing, because it's breaking my defensive chain. So now I'm going to fix that right away. So I'm going to play tight on Rudy Gay. I already changed my game plan, but this is how it is when you want to play good defense on Twitter. You got to constantly make changes and to see if your changes are producing good results. So after I turn into change, I mean change Rudy Gay to playing tight, this is still good. I'm still baiting Derek Collins and taking bad shots. Hopefully he will just take this mid-range jumper right here. See, this is what I wanted. And I challenged the shot, but thank you, 2K. Yeah, hit that in my face. But that's good game planning. That's good defense. So that was a good possession. That means my game planning, my settings are good for now. So I'm going to keep them and try my best on D. So there it is again, worked out, but ah, offensive rebounds, but ah. All right, so time to make another change. I know that Collison is taking bad moving shots, but every bad moving shot he's missing, the Marcus is grabbing them. So I gotta change it up. I'm gonna play him tight and give away the driving lanes, but instead of giving the mid-ranger because it's not working for me right now. So change up my game plan. So this is just how it is, guys. You gotta make changes because 
if you don't, they're just going to get you. So I guess a good way for me to determine if my game plan is working is that I try to keep computer to 25 points per quarter. If they're scoring at a pace that's going to be higher than 25 points a quarter, that means my matchups are wrong. So then I try to make changes. So here you see I am trying to smother all of the big man. So even if they get offensive boards, they can't put it back in. So that's the new plan. So let's see if it works out. Okay, guys, this is a huge, important defensive point. Look, they're bringing their branch in, and computer always do this, usually around the four or five minute mark of the first quarter. So whatever change of settings I made just now, those applies to the starters. So that will come in later and play maybe during the second quarter or maybe at the end of the fourth quarter or third quarter. But right now, because it's the four minute mark, the bench is on. And when computer brings on their bench, this is the time to lock down. So the four minute mark in the first quarter, because the bench guys are usually not the best guys. So... For me, in my experience, I look at that defense. Playing limited burn shot and physical defense with good interior D is usually good enough for most of the other team's benches. Because Rudy Gay here is a starter, but he's playing with the bench, so I'm going to help tons because Reggie Evans is on, right? For Reggie Evans, I just sag off and I keep playing help. Here it is again. The bench is not helping. Bad shot, I get another block. So I'm playing lockdown defense on the bench. So if you guys want to win games, make sure you lock down when computer first bring on their bench. Because if those bench guys, you don't give them a good run, they're cold the rest of the way. So the next time they bring in a the bench, you can get them again. So here I did okay. I gave up two more points than I want, but I'm scoring quite efficiently. So this is good enough for me. I'm up by seven. So now we're at the second quarter, about the 10 minute mark. This is the time where computer usually brings back their starters, mixed with one or two bench guys. This time is really important. This is a moment for me to figure out if all the settings I've made in the first quarters are working for me. Because by this point, I have seen everyone that computer is going to play tonight. So all of the matchups are set. So now I need to discover if they're doing right. Now you ask, how do you know if they're doing good? Well, don't look at me. Look at the other four computer defenders. For me, I look at them to see if they're working on a string and if they're playing the matchups that I want to. Here, I'm baiting them into the shot I want. It's a terrible shot. He hits it fine. But then that's what I wanted. Bad mid-range shot. So that means the settings are probably doing well. Here it is again. I'm going to look at the four computer defenders to see if they're playing on a string, like a tight chain with no mistakes, everybody with the right matchups. That's a good recovery there. Look at the four computer guys. They're playing every one of their own guys correctly here. Look at that sexy Batum Kirk Heinrich switch. Computer, you got my back. I got yours. I'll lock it down. Oh, yeah. On ball defense. The Kings never recovered again after that Kirk Heinrich block. I mean, because it shows that I found the right settings the rest of the way. I locked down and outscored them pretty handily. So I'm going to end the video here today. We're about the seven minute mark. This is way longer than my other ones. I mean, this is defense we're talking about, guys. This stuff is way harder than running an offense. So if you guys want to see more defensive tutorial videos, let me know. There's still a lot of things I can talk about with you guys and more tips and tricks I can show you in terms of running a good lockdown defense. Thanks for watching my video. This is Sam Fam checking out.